Oni. One of the most prevalent yokai, Oni is usually translated as ogre, and while they definitely have ogre characteristics, they can also appear as orcs or even demons. They are typically bulky creatures with one or more horn, and are almost always the villains in any story they appear in. Oni are born when a wicked human dies and arrives in one of the Buddhist circles of hell. They are servants of Lord Enma, ruler of hell. From this point on their duties are punishing the wicked, but not those wicked enough to become Oni in the first place. They take delight in crushing bones and peeling the skin off those they torment. It is possible, however, that a human is so wicked that their souls become beyond redemption, and at this point they can transform into an Oni while still alive, fleeing from their homes to find a new one in the mountains, and will terrorize and devour any livestock or human unfortunate enough to encounter them. Oni are so prevalent in Japanese stories that they are some of the few yokai that are known outside of Japan and locally are so ingrained in the culture that each year in February the Setsubun festival takes place across Japan at shrines and in people's houses. The tradition involves throwing soybeans out the front door or at family members dressed as Oni and shout Oni out, fortune in before slamming the door. Setsubun can be so large that crowds of over 100,000 people gather to celebrate it in Tokyo, hoping for fresh luck for the year. I hope you enjoyed day 13 of our October Yokai and Ghost Stories. You can check out the rest of them in this playlist and I'll see you again tomorrow for another video.